throw my phones to rights now. I'm a gangster. I am a hip hop gamer. Uh. One time. Hip hop gamer. Hot 97. I was born and raised Brooklyn, New York. Head to the streets. Walked in my talk, it was notorious Back in 94, on your hot 97 The station, I heard it all is getting on, baby, baby, baby Yo, yo, what's up? It's the one and only Hip Hop Gamer Hot 97 is going down I got my boy Hector here with me This is the CEO of Flipside You're gonna learn a lot about him today on We Got Game Let's get it in First off, thank you for being here, man Love you, bro, I appreciate it, man How you feeling? Good, good, good I'm happy to be here, to be honest Dope, man, that's what I'm talking about So look, I'm about to show y'all Call of Duty World War II This is like a little five-minute segment I'm gonna show y'all Jordan, it's gonna be crazy dope, son So... You ready? I'm definitely ready. All right, let's go. Our support team is going to get back into Get your head down and keep Well, they need to be. Yeah, for sure. Let's go, y'all. This is crazy, son. I love this game, son. Take the bag of Lord. Look at the graphics, son. Look at the graphics, son. This is what I'm talking about. And the animations are really well done. Look, his leg is missing. Yeah, Look, yeah. son. Yo, that's crazy. This is what you train for. Now pick up that banger. So that joint looked like life, son. Look at look his arm. He's gone. So now we got the no, banger. We, we gotta take the banger yes, sir. and um blow up their uh, territory. So this oh, part is difficult, geez. so I'm gonna try not to die. Alright, cool. So first, go to this side right here. We're gonna start shooting everybody up. Oh, we gotta die. You gotta be careful. Alright, now I'm gonna go over this area. Shit. Oh. Good job. Uh, let's see if we have to go over here. Hold up. Yep. Let's go. Over this area. See, I gotta get over there where it says. Um. Wait, hold up. Alright, let's go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Oh. See what I'm talking about? You like you'll die fast in this game, yo. We gotta be careful. Hold up. Alright, right there. Let's go. So we gotta go right there. Alright, let's go. Let's go, baby. Did it, got through it. First try. Use the banger, I'll cover you! We gotta use the banger right now, push you the So what I love about this game is how the story unfolds and how the brotherhood builds. And also what I love about the game that y'all notice in this Call of Duty is when you need ammo and when you need, um, hold on, when you need ammo when you need uh, health, they'll give you the packets. And there's a meter system to it. Watch this, y'all. It's time to get lit right now. Watch this. Let's go. God. Hold up. I think there's another one over here. Oh, woo! I'll jump my partner. That wolf looks bad. Here, take this. See, I didn't, didn't give you the. So now I gotta um. So the health doesn't regenerate in this game. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, like, 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 got him. Not the health at all, son. All right, here we go. Hold up. Son, the joint is crazy. Like I said, I couldn't stop playing it. I couldn't stop playing it like the moment it came out. I literally finished the game in like the end of the day. I was like really going in. The control, everything is tight. Oh wait, hold up. The mother. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, wait, hold up. So right now, we just gotta um, uh, take over these bunkers. 
So I just want to show y'all just like a little bit more of the game, just so you can see how like just the fidelity is. And I like that sound too. Yeah, little ching. Yo, look at the graphical detail and just how the smoke um, operates, like just the graphical effect. What you doing, stupid? Oh, yo, I don't shot. Now, the cool thing about this game is I can come Over up to here. him and I push up and he'll throw me a um, pack, you know, a health pack. Let me change my gun real quick. Let's go. Got him. Yo, that's crazy. So that was just one bunker that I cleared. Yeah. There's five of them that you gotta clear in that mission. But the game is fire. It looks amazing. What are your thoughts? So like I told you, our sports team is gonna actually get involved in this game because I feel like Modern Warfare 2 set so many trends for PlayStation. Um, and like in esports, it was like the Call of Duty title that like let the world know like this is gonna be a big thing. And then for Advanced Warfare, we kind of weren't really sure because a lot of the community kind of at first didn't like it that much in sales didn't reflect like what Activision thought the game was going to be. Absolutely. But this game, everyone, no, there's no yeah. organization that I've spoken yeah. to that's like, oh yeah, <laughs> we're not into Call of Duty. Everyone across the board, including players, are like yeah. so looking forward to this. Well, one thing I want to say is this, like, big shout out to Activision because this game sold twice as much as Infinite Warfare when it yeah. came out. And um, also, it's already like breaking new records yep. that, that we've seen this year with like the release of this title. So I think they back on track. And now I gotta talk to you about a lot of other stuff. You know what I'm saying? We need to talk about this esports stuff, all right? So y'all ready for that? Coming up next, my man Hector. We gonna school y'all on some esports right now. Evo, the mecca of the fighting game community. A tournament series so legendary, just saying its name conjures up images of glorious victory, crushing defeat, and of course, the highest levels of hype. Download complete. Does it Super Magical Pixel! Don't look at it! Just don't look at it! And Joe takes it, he lives in the tournament. With EVO 2017 now behind us, we thought it was only fitting to look back at the tournament's illustrious 15-year history and relive some of its most unforgettable stories. But will she get Dixon over? These are the most iconic moments in EVO history. Yo, what's up? So look, man, like I said, I got my man Hector, CEO of Flipside, and he's here to tell y'all about esports, the whole business, the energy behind it, and why y'all need to be involved in it and pay attention to it. Real talk. So look, man, Hector, let them know who you are, what you do, and you know why we here, man. Tell me about esports. What's up? So um, I'm CEO of Flipside Tactics, which is an esports team here. We have obviously a team house here in New York. I'm also CEO of Stats Helix, which is a, a stats and advanced analytics platform mm. for like CSGO, Rocket League, Street Fighter actually as well, mm. which I'll show you sometime. Um, and I've been helping out uh, Team Spooky here in New York City, which is like arguably one of the biggest esports studios in esports. Dope. So now what I want to ask you is like, what does that all mean? And when I, and what I mean by that is a lot of people that's watching esports all the time, they love it. Um, there's also reports on how Twitch out um have more viewers than Olympics. Like it, it's just yeah. such a big thing. So in from the back end, you know, behind the scenes, like how does this all like come together and how do people get involved in it? So I think the easiest thing to start explaining to people first is kids and the youth are more interested in esports than they are particularly like um, most other things, right? So it's mm. like still music, esports, like these are the things that attract the youth. So right. um to get it started, that's why it's important, right? Okay. Because everybody is playing games, right? Everybody 30 and under has pretty much played a game, whether it's handheld games, mobile yeah. games, or like console games or PC games, right? Absolutely. So, so where we come into it is um, we give players of these games that play at a very high level yeah. um, 
the opportunity to be able to try to make a career out of it by like offering them salary um, and giving them the infrastructure to be able to like focus on that instead of like having to go get a real job. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and in return, obviously, we become like a sports team, just like your Knicks and Nets and Jets. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Now, one of the things I want to talk about too, because there's been a lot of controversy about esports being taken serious as a sports. Mm -hmm you know, platform. So, like, what do you say to the naysayers that would be like, um, like, for example, that dude that's on the herd. Oh, Colin Cowherd? Yeah, Col yeah, yeah, yeah. he be talking trash, son. Oh, Yo, I see you, son. I know. You know what I'm saying? I see you. I real talk. But, like, like, for real, like, that be bugging me out. So, from a professional standpoint, like, what are your thoughts on the naysayers? Yeah. And can you, like, detail, like, the production and, yeah. and detail how a team gets formed and how like and also highlight the people that's actually living that life right now like a Sonic Fox and, yeah. and like a Punk and all these other yeah, people yeah. that's really doing it. So Colin, um, and I like Colin when he was on ESPN, um, but he's like my dad, right? So my father was really mad at me when when I decided to quit my job basically and say, hey, look, I'm gonna do this esports thing. I'm gonna give it a go, right? So like, my father was like Colin, he didn't understand, he didn't believe, and he actually didn't really support it in the beginning, right? Wow. So, okay. um, there's a lot of people like that. Now, I'm fortunate to have a partner in former NFL player, Ricky Lumpkin, who- Shout out to Rick. Yeah, who believes in it just as much as I do, because I'm a former athlete, I play sports all my life, right? So like I, like, I was telling you the other day, like, I grew up, I played on Kips Bay Mustangs in Castle Hill, right? So, mm, right? Castle so like, Hill, all yeah, right, yeah. all so, right. So like, okay. um, and then I moved to Florida to play sports, right? And then like, um, I, I took that where I took that, and then obviously I met Rick, and the one thing we have in common is, the, when you're not playing sports anymore, the only way to get that feeling of competition back for us, yeah. it's through gaming now. You already know what it is, dog. You so already know what it is. when a former NFL player goes, I made it to that level, and I'm not playing anymore, and the only way for me to get that level of competitiveness back or that feeling that I got when I played yeah. is by playing, like, you know, East, uh, like, for him, it's Counter-Strike. Got you, got you, got you. Then it's like, then That's it's... crazy. Then to me, it's always been kind of funny when people start doubting it, like, oh, it's not a real sport, or, or blah, 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 because then I'm just like... I mean, but de then define a sport. If it's a physical activity, I'm sorry, but gaming is also very physical because it takes yeah. a lot of hand-eye coordination. It takes a lot of practice and it, and it takes a lot of muscle memory. Yeah, So absolutely. People don't be thinking about that. No, of course not. So, like, like I give an example of our Counter-Strike team. There are certain conditions when we prepare for majors where we've had the AC up on really high. Why? Because you're not always going to get a perfect temperature everywhere you go. Some studios, like E-League, for instance, mm, the coldest okay. studio imaginable. It's almost like a hospital. So your joints stiffen. You don't move as fast when you're cold, right? That's just a fact. Yo, I was. So, yo, that's. Cr I, I'm not even. Yeah. I was never even thinking about those things. Yeah. Same thing with heat. You have to learn. Yeah. We played one time at ESWC in Montreal. The AC broke in the summer. People are sweating. Like it's a mess. They had to play inside in like 99 degree weather. Basically. Oh hell no! So yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to play in these conditions. And by the way, it was an official tournament. So like. Money was at stake. Oh, now speaking of money, like, what's the biggest pot like uh, your company and your teams like um, have won? And like, how how often do y'all like play for these big pots? Man? Oh, so that is, to be honest with you, I don't even know that. But if you go to esports earnings, there's a there's oh, a website. Okay. They yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't even think about stuff like that. But the biggest pot right now in esports is a game from a game that I played, which is how I started the company, which is a story for a different day. It's called Dota Two. Yeah, so that Dota game. Two is crazy. Twenty-three million dollar prize pool this year. The winners won ten million. Shut up. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> twenty-three. Oh, my bad. Look, twenty-three million dollar prize pot. Twenty-three million. Twenty-three million dollar prize pot. That should be the social media clip of this entire show. Yeah. That is crazy. So this is the type of money that people is like, like able to win. Of like course. that is crazy. So like, now my my next thing. And um, I know we'll wrap up the segment, but my next thing, and I think this is, uh, you know, very important, but 
when it comes to the like business side of esports, you know, obviously you get your ups and downs, and you know, you got like deals that you're trying to make and mm -hmm. trying to do, and you also have your fair share of competitors. Of you know what I'm saying? Like, like I know off camera we briefly talked about how you know Rick Fox and Jace Hall they got their team Echo Fox, and you know you have your team and stuff like that. Yeah. So how does it work? Like in the industry, when y'all going against each other and battling each other and setting up deals like that, because this is Hot 97. So when you look at hip hop, it's very competitive. You sure. know, you know what I'm saying? Like everybody wants to be the best. So yeah. like, how do y'all you know, work together? I'm actually gonna come and off. work against each other at the top. At the I'm same gonna time. come off a little bit like Jay Z, right? With the whole Jay Z Nas Ether thing. Um, so he thought he won that, right? And everybody pretty much always felt that Ether like destroyed like the takeover, right? And he's like, but wait, I didn't realize that, you know, I had to plan it out and you know, blah blah blah. I did it in yeah. one day. And for us, I'm gonna sound a little bit salty, but it seems like there's a lot of nepotism in esports. It's not so much how good you are, like how profitable you are, how economical you are, like what's the structure like in your company, how successful are you, how many championships you have. To me, it's really all about connections, just like a lot of other areas in life. Yeah, absolutely. And I think in esports, that's no different. We battle that same problem, which is Rick Fox is a much sexier name to put on any paper than Hector Rosario, who's, who's here with you, right? Because I'm an inner city kid from New York. Right. I'm, I'm from the Bronx, right? I didn't play for the Lakers. I don't have that sort of prestige. And sometimes um, the truth is the name overshadows the accomplishments, right? Mm, so that happens over Shaq, yep. like yep. Shaq's team, right? Yep. Shaq has shout out to Shaq. Yeah, yep. shout out to Shaq. It's like the same thing, right? If you compare resumes, yeah. I mean, there's a clear winner. Yeah. But I, I guarantee you Shaq will win it in any contract dispute. Yeah, yeah. Time, yeah, right? so, yeah. Yeah, and that's my point, right? that beast. yeah. Yeah. So so well one of the things I would say is like, you know me, like, you know, with Hot Ninety Seven and just, you know, Logitech and even B and H photo and just everything that we doing, let's just say when you're playing Street Fighter and you hit start as a second player and it says here comes a new challenger. Yeah. Here comes a new challenger. Let's get it popping. You already know what it is, man. My skills against your skills, no matter what it is. I got the team with me. I got a beast with me. Y'all ready? Let's go. Esports is about to change. Let's talk that shit. Let's go, baby. Hot nine seven all day. Team Spooky. Now we gonna really make some things happen. Let's do it. Now, let's see where your skills is at at Street Fighter 5. Right, That's coming on. up next. Let's get the battle going. What? Yo, look, it's time for the battle. You know what I'm saying? Esports battle right now. Hip hop gamer, Hector, let's go. You ready? I'm down. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Street Fighter 5, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Birdman. I'm going to be Ryu. You're going to be Birdman, Birdman son. Man. Something Put some respect this. on your name. That's right. You got to earn it, son. Ryu. You got to earn it. Beyond the battle. Well, I think all the Breakfast Club was pretty funny. Man, like, that, that was hilarious, It son. was hilarious. So let's get it. Birdman. 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 Alright, I'm gonna see where your skills is at. Right. If you notice, I don't even got no background music on this joint. I like that. So we're gonna see what's up. We're gonna see what's up. Alright. Round one. Fight! Alright, you yeah, look right there. I'll be careful because I'm gonna know what you're doing. Oh yeah, I'm talking! Let's go, baby! Let's go! 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 Let
One love, God bless the one only hip hop gamer. This was We Got Game. Make sure y'all stay tuned every week. Thank you so much. Yo, Hector. And yo, you're amazing, man. Thank you're you. amazing, it, man. man. Let them know where they can find you at and where they need to uh, get a hold of you um, from. All right, so just follow the team on Flipside Tactics, the production side, Team Spooky. They basically have the biggest FGC stream uh, in all of esports. So. That's what you can find. That's what I'm talking about. So one love and God bless on your hot nine sipping every day. That's my word. Gangsta. We out of here, baby. Peace. Yo, listen, man. One love and God bless. Thank y'all for the support. We got game. Hope y'all enjoy the show. See y'all next week on your hot nine Hip seven every day. Gamer. That's my word. Hip hop game and we out. Uh. I was born and raised Brooklyn, New York.